Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you about how to add uh, custom basic parameters to a block. Now, as the name implies, these custom parameters are just simple little values and variables you can change about a block, but they can make a big difference in the way um, that a block is used or um, just that kind of thing. Now, I'm not going to be covering every single one of these parameters that can easily be changed. Um, some of them are actually quite complex and deserve their own tutorial, um, but I will be covering the major ones. So, there are two ways to change these parameters. If you wanted to change uh, the parameters just for a single block, then you would want to go to this line where you say uh, whatever your block name is equals new block, insert class here, and we would go after it and say dot and set um, and then here are well dot and then here are a lot of the parameters um, and we'll say set creative tab this is probably one of the most useful ones and as the name implies it sets the creative tab for the block I will be covering how to create a custom creative tab um, in a later tutorial but the way this works, uh, we can say set creative tab and we'll say creative tabs dot um, tab block, for example. And this will set our tutorial our, our tutorial block to always appear in the um, creative tabs in the block creative tab. Now, if you don't add this dot set creative tab either here or in the place that we're going to put it in the block class, then it's not going to even be searchable in the creative menu. So you want to be um, sure that you put it there. Now, the other way we can set it, if we wanted to say set it for every single block um, that uses this class, is we can set it inside of the constructor and we can say this dot and then we add the parameters. Now, I'm going to actually declare the rest in this class um, because it just looks better and it's not as cluttered. Um, and I'll cover a few of them. So the major ones are set block unbreakable. Um, obviously this will make the block indestructible like bedrock. Um, we also have set, l set hardness and that is how long it takes to break a block. So I'll, um, if you're in survival mode, so I'll set this to um, 5F. Now 5F I believe would be a pretty hard block to break although I'm not particularly sure because I haven't messed with that parameter in a while. Um, we also have this dot set light value and the light value is the amount of light that the block emits. Now if we were to set it to 1F or anything above 1F it would emit the same amount of light as glowstone um, if we were to set it to 0.5F, it'll emit half of the light of glowstone, and 0.0F is going to obviously emit no light. So I'll just set it to 1F. Um, again, if you set that above 1, it'll still emit the same amount of light as glowstone. You can't set it above 1. Um, we also have this dot set resistance. Now, resistance is basically um, the not amount, but how easily it's broken by TNT. And it is also a float value. If you were to set this to something like 700F, it would take a lot of TNT to destroy this block. But something like 10F would only require a single piece, or at least it used to. I'm going to set it to 5F, just like our hardness. We also have this dot set, um, what else? Step sound, this is a major one. If you were to add a custom sound to the mod or you wanted um, a different sound, right now because we're using material.rock, it'll just be using, I believe, the um, stone stepping sound. But we can say block dot sound, um, let's say sound gravel footstep. Um, we also have this dot set um, tick randomly. This is one of the ones that is a lot more complicated 
it's one of the more major ones, but I'm not going to cover it in this video. It merits a video of its own because it's used mainly for, like, if you wanted to have crop growth or um, cactus growth or that kind of thing. That's one of the more major ones. There's a few others, but these are the major, major ones that are used more commonly um, and are easier to implement. So if we go ahead and run right now, you guys won't be able to hear the graffle footstep sound because I'm not currently recording uh, computer output audio. Um, but, oh, actually let me not go full screen. Or, there we go. Um, but you, no, don't delete that. But you should be able to um, see everything else. So with our tutorial block, you'll see immediately that it's emitting light. Um, ironically, you can see that because there's darkness around it, but that's uh, just a Minecraft glitch. You'll see if we place it there. Um, it's emitting light whenever we place it. And again, you all can most likely not hear that. Um, it sounds like gravel. And if we were to try to blow it up with TNT and redstone torch, it's going to break very, very easily unless they've changed um, the values. Yeah, it broke very easily. Oh, look, there's lava. So those are just um, the basic block parameters uh, that don't require their own separate like methods, um, but yeah, there are several more. A lot of them uh, require a new method for you to add inside of the block class, and I'll cover some of those. Um, those include the item that a block drops, um, etc., etc. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Source code will be in the description as usual, and I will see you next time. Bye.